Hello, in this video, I will show you how to apply LUTs to LAB and CMYK files in Photoshop. As many of you already know, in Photoshop, you can apply LUTs only to files in RGB color model. To apply LUTs to CMYK or LAB files, users have to convert their photos to RGB, apply LUT to them, and then convert them back to LAB or CMYK. In this video, I will show you how to apply LUTs directly to files in other color spaces in Photoshop using abstract color profiles. Why is it more convenient to use LUTs in native color spaces of source files? Firstly, using double conversion to RGB and back, you can lose some data. Secondly, in Photoshop, you cannot always painlessly convert multi-layer documents into other color models. For example, adjustment layers are not supported during conversion. In this case, if I wish to keep curves effect, the layer with curves will have to be merged with the original image when converting. As a result, I get one layer instead of two, but in RGB color space. If I refuse to merge the layers during the conversion, Photoshop will simply ignore the layers with curves. I click OK. The image has changed and it is clear that curves didn't apply to it. The same will happen if you use Edit, Convert to Profile command. The same warning window will appear. Also note that after conversion, blend modes will work differently. Let me show you an example. I'm creating a new layer, selecting Soft Light Blend Mode, and filling it with 50% gray. Now I'm going to make light accents on the photo with the help of the Dodge and Burn tool. I'll darken edges and make the center brighter. This is before and after. Let's try to switch to RGB. I get a warning that the appearance of layers can change. Here you can choose to merge layers before converting or convert with layers. I want to keep my layers so I choose the second option. And what do I get? Yes, the second layer remained, but its effect in RGB color space has changed. This is clearly seen if you switch back and forth in the history. In this case, the impact on the shadows will be different. Now imagine that you have several such layers. Amongst them, you still have a bunch of adjustment layers. If you want to have a predictable result and change nothing, you have to merge all your layers into one before applying the LUT. But you won't be able to go back and change older corrections. So let's see how you can apply a LUT in your native color space. 3D LUT Creator works with files in RGB, so I will merge all the layers into one and convert the image to RGB. I'm going to load this photo into 3D LUT Creator. In order to save time, I will open LUT Manager and grade the photo with one of the presets that came with the program. I'm choosing this preset. Now I'm clicking Export 3D LUT. As I said before, LUTs in Photoshop cannot be applied to files in LAB and CMYK color models. So I will create an abstract ICC profile with the name LAB. Why is the profile abstract? Initially, profiles were created to calibrate colors of various output devices. In my case, I do not even have a device. My profile itself changes color for my personal needs. So the profile is saved. Now I can go to Photoshop and undo RGB conversion and merging of layers in the history. Again, I have got LAB color space. All my layers are in place. Now I create a new color lookup layer. And instead of loading the LUT, I load the abstract profile that I created in 3D LUT Creator. Done. I applied my LUT in LAB without changing structure of the document layers. Here's how the picture looks in 3D LUT Creator. Here it is in Photoshop. And I still have a full access to all corrections I've made before. Let's consider now an example with an image in CMYK. I'm converting the image to RGB. I will do it through the menu Edit, Convert to Profile. Done. Now I'll go into 3D LUT Creator, reset all settings, and load the photo from Photoshop. Again, I'm going to use a ready-made preset. I'll make the picture a little warmer. I'll save this LUT as an abstract color profile with the name CMYK. 
Now in Photoshop, I'll go back in the history, create color lookup adjustment layer, and load my abstract color profile. Done. However, do not forget that RGB color model has a wider color gamut than CMYK, especially in saturated colors. Therefore, these colors can fall outside of CMYK boundaries. That is, after applying the LUD, pictures in 3D LUT Creator and Photoshop are going to be different. In this case, the difference is insignificant. That's all. I hope this lesson was useful to those who work in CMYK and LAB color models. Goodbye.